Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my uh, course that is aspects of biochemical engineering. Now in the last uh, couple of lectures I try to concentrate on the microbiology uh, which is involved in the biochemical process and I, I told you that microbiology or microorganisms that plays very vital role as far as biochemical processes are concerned. Now, uh, now today we will be discussing another very interesting topic what you call fundamentals of biochemistry. Now naturally why uh, how the different bioproducts formation take place with the help of my organism that we can find out if we go through this biochemistry of this pro this uh, my living cells uh, we can understand the process very nicely. So the first uh, I want to tell you that uh, what you mean by biochemistry. Biochemistry is the study of the structure and composition. You, you see this is structure, composition and chemical reaction of substances in living system. That uh, different components present in the, in the biological system, how we take part in the reactions. That, uh, that is, uh, that is the, what bio chemistry deals with. So, it basically the combination of biology and chemistry that uh, that is the biochemistry that we have. Now, uh, now question comes what are the different biomolecules present in the in this biochemical process that uh, that is very important because uh, because the, these molecules are mostly either carbohydrate or proteins or lipids or nucleic acid. These are the different major biochemicals that biomolecules present in the uh, in the bioprocesses. Now what do you mean by carbohydrate? Carbohydrate is a uh, considered as a source of carbon which is I told you this is used for three different purposes. One is for the cell mass formation and there is a source of energy. Also it is used for the product formation where the product is other than the cell mass. The protein is mostly used for the um, uh, for, uh, use for the building up of the uh, cells and lipids also used as a source of energy and, and, and uh, if you look at the nucleic acid of uh, this is, uh, is mostly taking part for the formation of uh, DNA and RNA which is the genetic material of the living system. Now, now this is carbohydrate if you see it very minutely you will find it is a usually ended with uh, with uh, O's you know that as for example uh, that that glucose, fructose you know different type of with the nomenclature is usually ended by O's. Now it comprises of three major components one is carbon then hydrogen and oxygen. And as I pointed out, this is considered as a major source of energy and it can be available in two different forms. One is called monomer and there is polymers. Now monomers when the, the it's kind of monosaccharides. Now if you if you consider sugar, sugar is not a monomer, it is a it is a dimer. Actually, it is the combination of glucose and fructose. Now polymer is a starch, cellulose is a polymer of glucose. So it is in a polymer. So examples, the, the same examples are giving here, the glucose, fructose, galactose, galactose also dimer, um, that glucose and uh, uh, no, galactose is, is a, lactose is a dimer, is a combination of glucose and galactose and then we have sugar, starch, uh, for like, which is available, potato, pasta, etc. Now if you look at the protein molecule, this is the uh, most important because it is used as a nitrogen source and uh, it, is a, it comprises of carbon, uh, hydrogen and uh, oxygen and nitrogen. It controls the rate of chemical reaction through the enzymes. The enzymes are the uh, basic uh, that uh, biomolecule that is 
mostly take part in the chemical in the reaction and enzymes they are uh, considered as the biocatalyst and uh, a catalyst uh, role of a catalyst as we know that it take part in the reaction after the reaction is over it uh, remains unaltered. Uh, purpose of the catalyst is to lower the activation energy so that your rate of reaction increases. So, this is available in bone and muscle and transport things uh, out of cells. And then it is can be monomer, if it is monomer we call it amino acids. Now as you know we have 20 different amino acids and uh, that uh, and this, this uh, uh, proteins uh, it is uh, basically it is a polymer of uh, amino acids, different amino acids. So, it basically it available in two different forms, one is called peptides and there is protein, if the peptide is there it contains 2 to 50 amino acids is more than 50 amino acids we call it proteins. Now it is available in meat then poultry eggs, beans, soybean, nut, peanuts, butter and the enzymes. So these are the different uh, sources where these enzymes, these uh, uh, enzyme proteins are present. Then as I told you nucleic acid which is which contains special thing it has that is the phosphor, phosphorus. So, it contains carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and phosphorus. It stored and transmit the genetic information which is very important that you know genes as you know it uh, any genes that uh, coat a particular proteins. So, and this protein that enzymes are basically proteins and uh, this is very much essential for carrying out the biochemical activities. The monomers is the nucleo nucleotide monomers and uh, polymers is the polymer of nucleic acid as for example, you, you we have DNA dioxyribonucleic acid and RNA ribonucleic acid. So, this is how it looks and then we have another molecule I told you this is lipids, it is, it is no true polymer and there is no true polymer here. So, we have uh, this contains primarily carbon and hydrogen, also it contains oxygen. It is stored as energy I told you and make up of biological membrane and waterproof uh, covering, waterproof covering that uh, it is, it is uh, hydrophobic in nature because it has the water rippling properties. They are made up of three fatty acids and one glycerol and the fats uh, examples are fats, oils, wax and the membrane. These are the different examples that we have. Now, next is uh, let us go uh, to this uh, biomolecules in the details. Now, if you look at the carbohydrate, now as I told you that uh, this is a, it is a, it is a uh, source of energy because it is the key source of energy of the living organism as for example uh, that we take glucose in the day to day life. To, and glucose we consider as a source of energy, it passes through the amyloid myelo pathway then TCA cycle and ultimately it converted it convert it to carbon dioxide and water. Now, here I want to point out that, uh, that, uh, that uh, this general formula of carbohydrate, the general formula of carbohydrate as, we, as I as shown you this is CH2O, oh, oh, this is CX and Y. So, this is called carbo and this is called hydro, this is how. Now, if I if I consider glucose C6 H12O6, now how you can write it C6 H2O6. So, this is this is carbohydrate. Now, if you if you, this is about the glucose, now if you if you if you if you consider uh, that you know um, that uh, 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 other molecules as for example, sugar, uh, sugar, sugar how you can write? It is C12 H22O11. So, this is C12 and H2O this is 11, this is how we can write. So, this is carbo, this is hydrate, this is how why it calls the carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are synthesized by photosynthesis process using sunlight because uh, uh, this is the normal process that is going on in the living system and, uh, and schematic uh, representation of the reaction is given here. You see that carbon dioxide and water in presence of light 
it produces the carbohydrate, this and oxygen. This is how it and uh, the what the two functional groups are present here. One is called keto, that uh, this is this is the ketone group, and another is the aldehyde groups. This is the two uh, two uh, two things that we have. According to the stereochemistry, two stereoisomers of carbohydrates are present, both D D form and L form. And uh, usually, most of the natural sugar we have only the D forms. The D isomers are present there. Now, carbohydrate uh, may be available in different forms. One is monosaccharide. Monosaccharide, I explained that uh, it comprises of one uh, one unit. That is uh, six to eight to twelve or six. That one unit you have, and fructose also same as glucose and galactose also. Um, uh, this one monomer unit is there. Now, if we consider dimer, we have sucrose, lactose, and maltose. What is sucrose? Is the it is the dimer of glucose and fructose, and lactose is the glucose and galactose, and maltose is a is a glucose and glucose. They form uh, alpha one four linkage. To form the maltose molecule. Now, oligosaccharides basically those are the <coughs> polymer uh, polymer of uh, the two to ten uh, sugar that you know they they together is forms. One is raffinose, another is starchose, and then there is another polysaccharide that is the, the we have which has uh, the ten or more sugar molecules are present. Those are uh, those. Those are present. That is one is uh, one is starch, then uh, glycogen, and the cellulose molecule. Now uh, that you know that is starch. And the both are polymer of all are polymer of glucose unit. And I know that we know that uh, cellulose is not digestible in the human system, but starch and glycogen, glycogen they are digestible to the human system. And only the difference is that here we have alpha one four or beta one uh, or uh, or uh, or alpha one six linkage. Now in the cellulose we have beta one four linkage only. So this is the basic difference that we have. Then then if you look at the protein molecule as 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 a, it is the high molecular polymer of amino acids. That if you look at this is uh, this is this is the this are the polymer of. So anyhow that <laughs> protein is basically it is a high molecular weight polymer of amino acids that. Uh, and amino acid basically they they have the polymer uh, with uh, that uh, CONH bond. This is a, this is so uh, it is a combination of uh, ammonia and the carboxylic acid acid that is the, they form this uh, CH CONH2. I can I can ex explain like this. Commonly found in the this is commonly found all the enzymes that we have. And acts as a biocatalyst uh, in the several biochemical reaction. And as I pointed out, that if the polypeptides come, uh, are, the, are the, what is the polypeptides where we have less than 50 amino acids are there. If more than 50 amino acids there, we consider as a protein. So condensation of polypeptides. If we, if we have the combination of several peptide molecule, then we call it protein molecule. We have several proteins. That we have collagen protein. We have Protein, a lot of protein molecules we have. Then another we have the prosthetic groups in the organic. It may be organic, inorganic component other than the amino acids in the chain. They can produce the picturally that uh, that protein molecule can be represented like this. It is the primary that if you look at that uh, primary that uh, structure is like this. That it is a polymer of amino acids, and then it has secondary protein structure. Occurs uh, that uh, the linkage with they have the hydrogen bond, and hydrogen bond is in between the carboxylic and amino acid with the uh, R group. The R group of the amino acid they form the hydrogen bond, and they they have this alpha helix. They have related uh, seat like this. Now in 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 case of tertiary structure, it is a combination of both the things alpha helix and plated seat. Their combination. They they form the tertiary and quaternary structure is a protein consists of more than one amino acid chain. So this is the gives you a brief idea that how the protein molecule looks. Now next come to the lipid molecule, 
and uh, we as you know lipid is the is the major source of energy if you if you look at the energy content in the lipid is much higher as compared to the carbohydrate molecules now fats or lipids are formed through the esterification of long chain fatty acids with the glycerol so they form the esters we know the fatty acid fatty what is fatty acid fatty acid basically this is the organic acid what is the organic acid it is comprised of carbon hydrogen oxygen that uh, and with the carboxylic acid groups and uh, they in when they they combine with alcohol they form the esters and uh, the the fatty acid the ordinary fats or lipids are basically the, the esters of the amino that fatty acids and the glycerol now general structure of this is given here this is the general structure of fatty acid is given here that is uh, uh, ch3 ch2 cwhn so you know it may be bigger we have bigger fat fat molecules we have smaller fat molecules that we have now fatty acid may be two types one is structured saturated and unsaturated what do we mean by saturated fatty acid saturated fatty acid mean that uh, all the bonds are single bond there is no double bond present in this uh, now if there is any double bond present in the uh, fats fats uh, fats uh, uh, or i mean uh, the fatty acids we call it unsaturated now why we are interested particularly uh, in this in this connection i want to tell you particularly biodiesel production process we usually prefer the <coughs> the unsaturated that uh, fatty acid because why by unsaturated if you unsaturation if the fat is unsaturated the oil should remain in the liquid phase otherwise if it is saturated it will in the normal temperature it may solidify so it is very difficult to use as a fuel so uh, so here the saturated fatty acid no double bond and unsaturated at least one, one uh, usually there should not be any double bond maybe mostly the single bonds are present the steroids are also lipid which examples are the uh, the uh, cholesterol and natural occurring hormones now uh, this uh, this it looks like this this how the this is i told you this hydrocarbon molecules we can increase the change this ca 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51
Now, what is called anabolism? Anabolism means uh, as the complex molecules are formed for as a building blocks. Because you know when some formation takes place, as for example, protein formation takes place, or some uh, some molecule formation takes place, that we call it anabolism. When degradation of the molecules takes place, as we, uh, glucose, when we uh, consider as the source of energy, glucose finally converted to carbon dioxide and water, we get the energy. That is called catabolism. So, the anabolism means formation of the body cells and catabolism is the degradation of the organic molecules. So, that large molecules are broken down into the bonding, into the bonding black. Now, this is, this is cells, we have micromolecules, macromolecules like the protein, protein, then poly, polysaccharide, then lipid and nucleic acid. And uh, this, uh, this forms form uh, this uh, different compound precursor, amino acid, sugar, fatty acid, and nitrogenous base. So this uh, when this uh, amino acid amino acid forms protein, protein is nothing but polymer of amino acid. Then this is called anabolism. When sugar form polysaccharides, then we call it uh, that the anabolism. But uh, other way that if 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 carbohydrate, fat, and protein molecule is degraded to uh, that uh, carbon dioxide, uh, water and ammonia, we call it catabolism process. I hope and in process we, 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 we produce some energy molecules, these energy molecules are ATP, NADH, NADP and FADH2. This is used as a, as a currency of uh, energy because as per our body requirement, we use this energy for our day to day use. Now, the major metabolic pathways are like this that uh, first we have protein molecules when uh, it degraded uh, nitrogen pool then it forms the ammonia this is the ammonia that we have ammonia is formed then the tissue protein that uh, also it forms and uh, then carbohydrate this carbohydrate basically the glucose fructose and galactose they take part glucose 6 phosphate then it ultimately through the process of glycolytic pathway it produces the pyruvic acid and then also uh, also this pyruvic acid when passed through the tca cycle or cytic acid cycle and uh, uh, it produces carbon dioxide uh, and water then we get lot of energy we uh, we produce the atp 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 atp, ATP different electron transport chain so we this is carbon oxygen is required so two major products we have carbon dioxide and water that is um, and then in case of fat and lipids, we have fatty acids and uh, lipogenesis that both is uh, taking place in this particular system. Now, metabolism, metabolites are the intermediates or products of metabolism because you know that uh, I told you that in a chain we have several product formation take place and individual molecules we call it metabolites and it is broadly divided into two different types. One is called that primary metabolites. Another, another we call the secondary metabolites. Now, what is called primary metabolites like amino acid, vitamin, nucleic acid, polysaccharide, ethanol, and lactic acid. And secondary metabolites are antibiotics, pigment, toxin, alkaloids, and steroid, and polymeric substance like gum and rubber. This is usually formed, this all usually formed during the uh, stationary phase. And as I, as I told you that stationary phase we consider as a starvation phase. Now, common that uh, glucose metabolism is like this. Glucose passed through the amyloid myelo pathway, it produced the uh, pyruvic acid and the, through the, it, uh, both the aerobes and anaerobes, they follow this pathway. And uh, through the anaerobe, aerobes, so it passes through the TCA cycle, crepe or cytic acid, meaning is more or less uh, it's the same that uh, so then it passes through the respiratory chain or oxidative, oxidative phosphorylation. The anaerobic system, it is a fermentation, ethanol and, and acetic acid and lactic acid it forms. Now this is the glycolytic pathway, how the uh, glucose molecules is converted to pyruvic acid. So you know this is the how the number of this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 different steps are involved before it produces. So, one mole of glucose can produce two moles of pyruvic acid. Then we have uh, that aerobic uh, glucose metabolism pathway. There, there, there we can produce 
some kind of it, it, it passes through the TCA cycle and you can see the different molecule like citric acid uh, that, that kind of citric acid formation when you take we try to inhibit the subsequent steps by, by, by putting the inhibitor for aconitase enzyme and isocytate dehydrogenase we get the citric acid we do we can synthesize different amino acids by using this process then we have the microbial metabolic pathway for industrial important products like we have glutamate you can see the glutamate uh, largely used then we have other different amino acids are here and that is from how it formed by using this uh, this metabolic pathway then then other industrial importance products are uh, as per example different type of uh, 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 this uh, antibiotics are there one is uh, one is one antibiotic is the novobiosin this is kind of antibiotics actinomycin that is another antibiotic so different type of antibiotics how it forms it has been shown here then other other uh, anaerobic fermentation process we get different type of various chemicals we we, we can get like propionic acid isopropanol butyric acid butanol ethanol which nowadays plays very important role uh, because as a source of energy and particularly lactic acid is used largely used for the food preservation purpose so it is used in the food and food and pharmaceutical industries and polylactic acid is used uh, polylactic acid used in the in the therapeutic purpose now uh, this is the, uh, that uh, microbial metabolic pathway for industrial importance we have uh, we have different spaces we have lactobacillus, we have stachyromyces, we have clostridia, these are the very important places we have. As for example, lactobacillus is largely that when you take part, it produces the lactic acid and which is used for uh, the cheese production, sauerkraut production, yogurt and pickles, largely used. And saccharomyces cerevisiae is used for wine, beer and ethanol. Ethanol acts as a substitute of uh, uh, the gasoline. And then uh, when we use the clostridium, it produces the butyl alcohol, acetone and carbon dioxide, which is largely used in the pharmaceutical industries. Now plant system also, we, uh, this is the metabolic pathways. You can say so several important metabolites is produced as caffeic acid. This is, uh, this is used as a stimulant, uh, it is largely available in the, in the tea or coffee. Then it produces ethylene also, this is used in the ripening process. Then uh, limonene and uh, mannitol that is also another product that form in the in the plant system and in the biofuel production as i pointed out starch or glucose that uh, can be uh, produced uh, by the different type of uh, this is different type of uh, hydrocarbons that alkanes or alkenes the formation is there and this is the different other products that formation nowadays this has largely exploited particularly by using microalgae and microalgae used as a source of biodiesel. So, so in conclusion, I want to tell that you know, biochemistry deals with different biomolecules like uh, you have, we have uh, carbohydrate, we have proteins, we have lipids, we have uh, this uh, nucleic acid and that uh, mainly the carbohydrate and lipid they use as a source of energy and uh, protein is as a bodybuilding material Car carbon also used as a bodybuilding material a part of carbon and, uh, and nucleic acid mostly used as a genetic material for the formation of different proteins which is very much in involved in the metabolic pathways there are several metabolic pathways that we have as for example indoor and myro pathway where glucose is converted to pyruvic acid and passed through the TCA cycle it produces carbon dioxide other metabolic pathways also has been discussed through which we can get the different type of products both primary metabolites and secondary metabolites thank you very much